Hey guys, it's Ashton again with Gen Sense. I'm all dressed up today. We're going to be taking a look at another fragrance that has been discontinued and taken from us too soon. The fragrance that we're talking about today is Escada Purome, released in 1993. Nowadays, Escada is more well known for women's releases that are tropical or fruity, you know, nice smelling younger women scents. But they used to make lots of high class, high quality men scents. Unfortunately, all of them are discontinued at this point. This one is one of the more sought after ones. It actually goes for a ton of money on eBay nowadays. We'll go ahead and check out the bottle really briefly and get into the fragrance itself. All right, guys, let's go ahead and check out the presentation here. Uh, the bottle is nice and classy. It has these lines going up and down all the way around and on the cap itself. The Escada logo here on the front. You have the information and badge code on the bottom. The cap also has those lines, a little black, uh, almost looks like an opal. The atomizer is good, sprays out a good amount of juice. This bottle does bear some similarity to Tom Ford for men. They both have those lines going up and down with the amber colored juice and the uh, caps both also have those uh, lines going up and down there. The Escada obviously looks a little more old school. It's like the Tom Ford is a reimagining or a modernized version of this bottle. Um, it is nice. The glass is thick and heavy. It does look quality. Uh, it doesn't look cheap at all. This starts off with a bitter orange. It's, it's not citrusy sweet or anything like that. It's definitely on the bitter end of things. And an old school lavender. Now if you've smelled late 80s, early 90s fragrances where lavender is one of the main players, you know what I'm talking about. This is not like a really fresh or bright interpretation of lavender, but that's not what this is going for. It also has a really boozy cognac note. Uh, so this one is going to come across fancy, sophisticated, a uh, little elegant, but more gentlemanly. This is for your guys who are in their 30s and up, who wear it for special occasions, dressed up when you want to smell masculine. As this hits the mid and the dry down, you get more sandalwood and that's infused with cinnamon, but it's not a cinnamon like from a potpourri or anything like that or a dusty cinnamon. It just kind of adds and plays along with the notes that the sandalwood is bringing. And the sandalwood in this is not your sweetened sandalwood. It's, it's more just the wood itself, a woodsy note, not that sweet from Individual, Youp, uh, Original Santal. It's not even on the same planet as that sandalwood. There's a little bit of vanilla that comes in here. Uh, it adds just a little bit of sweetness, but this is not a sweet scent. Cognac is the main player the whole way through, and it has a really nice, warm, kind of spicy accord that goes there from the beginning to the end. It's a warm fragrance through and through. This has above average projection, above average longevity. It performs really well. And when this was first discontinued, uh, it was actually going for super cheap. You could pick this up for next to nothing. Nowadays, you have to trawl eBay, try to find a legitimate bottle. And when you do, you're looking at upwards of $150 or more. So it's another one of those fragrances that was super cheap, got discontinued. Everybody kind of remembered it and was like, oh, actually, I really like that. It was really nice. Everyone bought it up. And now if you want to buy it, you have to pay scalper prices. I've read online a few people that have said that this is overly synthetic, that it's not very good. I don't agree with any of that. I just think it fits a specific niche. I think it's for middle-aged men and up who want to smell sophisticated, classy, masculine, maybe even rich. That's the kind of vibe it gives off because it's got that boozy cognac note as the main player. And this is a complicated uh, fragrance. It has lots of notes playing along in there. It does have kind of that throwback old school smell, but a lot of guys that are middle-aged and up, especially going to gentlemanly type events, are looking for that type of scent. And this is a really good one. It does what it does and it does it well. 
It's not set out to be an everyday generic people pleaser. That's not what it's for. Um, so it shouldn't really be judged in that way. So I think, like I said, what it does, it does well. Can I recommend this? For the price, no, not really. Unless you have uh, you know, a special kind of attraction to the bottle, maybe you wore it uh, years back and you want it now, uh, or you just have lots of money to blow and you're looking for a type of scent to wear to upscale events or special occasions and you're middle-aged and up, then yeah, go for it. Uh, if you can find it for a really, really good price, a legitimate bottle, you know, $40, $50, pick it up. Um, but basically, the only people that are going to want this are people that are hardcore collectors, people that wore it before and just want it again, or people with lots of money to blow who, uh, you know, want it for special occasions. It is nice. Um, it's actually really good. It's not mind-blowing though. It's not like one of the top 10 cents ever released or anything like that. Uh, just wanted to bring this to your guys' attention because I was able to pick it up at a good price uh, and bring it to you. So that's all I've got for you today. Let me know if you have smelled this one and what you think. As always, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time. I don't agree with any of that. I think that it spit, it spits, what? It's especially middle-aged and up, and you want to smell masculine, you want to spell, spell.